In Michigan, there's a painful connection between the lengthening lines at the employment office and the rising price of gasoline. Creighton Miller is an unemployed factory worker from Battle Creek. I'm probably spending anywhere from 30 to 50 bucks a week extra in gas so that, you know, I can go ahead and look for a job. With Michigan facing the nation's highest unemployment rate at 12.9 percent and second highest price for gasoline at almost $2.88 a gallon, it's not the best time for Miller to be looking for work as a truck driver. I guess they have to grin and bear it. Nationally, since December, the average price of a gallon of regular gas has risen a dollar, a 62 percent increase the largest over a six-month period in history. And while gas prices go up every spring as refineries switch to more expensive summer blends and consumption increases because of vacation driving, demand right now is flat. So why are prices rising? For one thing, the dollar is weak, and that means everything it buys, such as oil, costs more. And investors are driving up the price further by buying more oil as they see signs of an economic recovery and the potential for increasing demand. Of course, the rising price could stall the very recovery they're anticipating, so not everyone's jumping in. I'm a little concerned with prices heading back up over 250. You may see a lot of the people scrambling back to shore. Still, as worrying as the price climb has been, it's nowhere near last summer's spike above $4. This week, the Department of Energy predicted gasoline prices will peak next month averaging close to $2.70 a gallon nationwide. They would love it that low in Battle Creek, home of the bombers, and $2.94 a gallon gas, and where the effects of the rising prices are obvious. Attendance, even at five bucks a ticket, is down. I've seen more people biking to the games. I've seen more, an increase in people who pedal up to our, to our ticket office and park their bikes. The club's biggest expense is gasoline, and this morning, the squad left for Thunder Bay, Ontario, a costly 831 miles away. Dean Reynolds, CBS News, Chicago.